What's up guys, Godsley back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over the second strike uh, that they have redone for the Donning event, uh, Will of Crota. Now, if you watched my Nexus strike, I highly praised Bungie's take on the new strike. And I will continue that praise with Will of Crota. I think this is really well done, uh, but in a different way. Um, there's not as many changes like they did with Nexus, which Nexus is not something you would play um, in any of the new strike playlist or as a new nightfall so this is the first time we'll get to play nexus but will of crota one of the things i like about it is that it not only gives us a new strike but it gives us new ways to play that strike so you could play the will of Clo crota regularly in a say a regular siva crisis playlist and then move into your next strike and it be the same strike but say it's this new version and then you've got new ways to play new enemy um, arrangements new grouping so i think they did a good job so let's talk about the sections and what we think about them so the first section you know where you go into that first room and there's a bunch of enemies you can't go on to you kill all of them um, I really think they did a good job. They threw some wizards and some ogres and things in there. And it, it well, it depends. There there can be a lot of those, or there can be a lot of uh, Siva, you know, splicer devils. I think it was a good match. I think they did a good job. I don't feel like the ads were uh, too much or too little. I feel like I still had just as much fun as I do. Um, with the normal Will of Crow Strike, the one thing I actually say I like more, I actually feel like I can go out in the room and, and, and kill the enemies a lot easier than I could in the original Will of Crow. In the original, I feel like I kind of have to stay in that back room and just let them come to me. But with this new strike, I feel like I can go out there and really have fun with it. Uh, once you move on from that section upstairs... Um, is where it also changes. Normally, you know, you've got the regular fall and they drop from that ship in the back. And they still kind of do that, but it's in a different way. Now you have two options. You're either going to go out there and there's going to be uh, SIVA Devil Splicers and they kind of pop up in the same kind of way. Or B, there's going to be Hive. Now the Hive have kind of the new little green pools that sit around. I think that's what's, you know, bringing back Omnigal. Um, and it gives them kind of a little buff but there's a lot of hive and i like it a lot there and this week with it being arc burn if you're not careful you will die very fast from all the nights that pop up so i think it's a a new way to do it it's not the same boring just fallen you've got some new enemy types in there um the devil splicers are, are so closely similar i'm glad they made it to where you can have a a uh, hive version just because it brings a new enemy group into the into the gameplay uh, once you move on from that spot and open the door and you you power through to the boss uh, the one thing I really like about the first boss encounter normally where you would go around the corner and this is where you would cheese her if you wanted to and kill her that first place before you go up the hill um, it's either going to be that or or it's going to be splicers and not her. She's She'll just already be in the room. I think that's a good way to kind of elevate the gameplay and change up how it, how it works. Um, and then once you kill all those enemies and you move into the final boss room with Omnigal, I really, really think they did a good job with this. You know, before, if you ever play Omnigal, you always sit in that back room and you never go out there until you've killed enough ads and you can just deal with Omnigal alone. Now the doors close and you have to stay in there with her. But what I will say, it was a good decision on their part to when the ads come in for her to disappear because with her and the ads, it would have been insane. And I think when that happens, that's what makes the ads, um, I won't say easy to handle, but more, uh, I don't know. It, it makes you more capable because she's not on the bridge. So you can kind of take control of the bridge for a little while. Because when all those ogres come up and all the mother ads in the bottom come up, if she was there, you would never be able to do that. So I think they kind of had to make her disappear to make closing the doors viable as a strike mechanic. Um, so I really enjoy the fact that they changed that to where you have to be stuck in there. You have to deal with the ads uh, face to face. But at the same time, I didn't feel like I couldn't win. I felt like I could handle it pretty well, but still killed her pretty fast. And then if you manage the ads properly and kill them first, when she pops back up, it's no problem because there's no ads. You know, I can see someone going in there and just trying to kill her and then the ads are just going to pile up with her and it's going to be rough. 
Uh, so I think that was a good decision on Bungie's part. So overall, just like with the Nexus, I think this is a great strike. I give it an A plus in my opinion. Um, the reason I still think the Nexus is better just because we haven't played the strike in in a long, long time. Um, so I think it was great for them to just bring that back. Will of Crota, we already have to play. So we kind of, you know, played it to death recently in the last year. Um, so I still think it's a great strike, though. Uh, so in the next video, we'll move on to the Shadow Thief, which in my opinion is not the best remake of a strike. And we'll talk about that in there and why I put it third place on the new strikes. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. It really helps out. Uh, comment below. What do you think about the new Will of Crota strike? Do you like how they close the doors and you have to be stuck in there? Um, do you like the different uh, groupings of enemies that come in that provide kind of a new take on the strike? Uh, make sure you subscribe below for more Destiny content. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at I am God's Elite. It's been going scrolling at the bottom of the video for a little while or off and on every now and then. Uh, but that's it, guys, and I will see you in the next video.